Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I've So over the weekend, I have been playing. Um, I've been experimenting. And you, if you've been here long enough that you know, you know how much I love to experiment. So um, I'll show you quickly what I've been experimenting with. And then I'll talk you through um, the process of how I got to what I'm going to show you today. <laughs> it's so exciting. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> right. So today, la -da, we are making some enamel, faux enamel tags. Look at those. <laughs> Look at the grunge. Oh, they're just too cool. But these were the practice. So um, what I did with these was, well, no, that's a lie. So they were the practice, um, but these, so these were the first ones that I made. Um, yeah. <laughs> Didn't quite turn out um, how I envisioned them, but I knew... I knew how I wanted what I wanted, um, but I didn't quite know how to get there. So I was just kind of, you know, you figure it out, don't you? Um, so this one was did come out really cool, but I used too much of the Lost Shadow um, embossing glaze. And yeah, kind of went wrong. This one, I thought I'd give a go the um, antique linen embossing glaze. And yeah, yeah, just didn't do the do it right. And this one, I tried a different embossing powder. Um, this one, I tried um, the Stampendous um, Vintage Embossing Powder. So as you can see in here, they've got like little bits. And this is really beautiful embossing powder, but it's not what I was looking for. So they're the practice ones. Um, we'll put those back in there. And then we had these ones and these ones um, still didn't quite turn out how I wanted them to turn out. Um, so I used embossing powder. So I used the white embossing powder and then I used um, black embossing powder for the numbers. And as you can see, I think it's because of the white embossing powder. So as you can see, um, can you see where the black embossing powder just... It stuck to everything and that wasn't the look I was going for. As cool as I still think these are and I will st still use them because they do look really rusty and um, and really cool. I, yeah, the numbers just didn't work for me. So then, <laughs> then I come up with these. Oh! <gasps> Look at them. Oh, I mean, look, I just, I mean, well, I'm speechless. I have no words. How cool are they? But still, these still, what this one still wasn't what I was looking for. This, this one here, oh, I just dropped it. This one here is perfect. Let me just, because you, you're blurry. There we go. And look. Oh, look, just look at the rust and, oh, it just, it does just look like, look, kind of like a street sign, like an old rusty street sign um, or license, uh, license plate, registration plate, anything like that. So, but how cool is that? Right. So I'm going to tell you how, let me just, is that better? Yeah. Right. So this one, again. Right, so the difference between these two is um, I did the same effect. So I cut lots and lots of labels and tags and stuff with dies. You don't need dies, though. I will show you how you can do this without having dies. Um, and this one, whew, so someone was just at my door, so I just had to run down my drive. <laughs> um, this one. I, I used the white embossing powder and then I stamped on top with my black stays on. And then 
once that was dry, I rusted it all and everything. And then I put the lost shadow over the top. And I don't know if you can tell, but I had to stamp it again because the, it's the, the stays on seem to disappear um, either with the white embossing powder or it was the lost shadow embossing powder but it the, it wasn't black and I wanted it black so what I did was once I did when I did the white embossing powder bit I then went over with my collage medium in matte I went over with that let it dry um, because then there's something there for the stays on to sort of like hold on to to adhere to um, and yeah and look it just turned out perfect. I absolutely love it. Excuse the boys. I don't know what they're barking at. We've had a lot of aeroplanes going over. And um, yeah, so they're barking at everything at the minute. <laughs> right, so what we're going to need is we're going to need some Distress Collage Medium. It doesn't have to be a Distress. It can be any medium as long as it's matte. So we've got that. I've also got my um, embossing dobber, but you can use an embossing pad if you want to. Um, I have my Distress Paints in Vintage Photo and Ground Espresso. I have the tags that I've cut as well. I have got the Embossing Glaze in Lost Shadow. And I also have um, some embossing powder in white. I have the black stays on. And I have some stamps as well. I have these stamps um, and they're clickable stamps. Oh, I love them. I mean, look at these. Look, they're just, and you can just write, they all come apart and then they click back together. And you can literally write any any word or any number you want and then just stamp straight away. Um, I, ha I absolutely adore these stamps. They are linked in my Amazon store. So I've got these ones. And, oh, let's shovel this out of the way. And I have these ones as well. Um, I know they're not in order, but, you know. Oh, I can't, can't get it in. There we go. And they all just clip together. So I have no out as well, just for number. And I also have some large ones. Um, they come in three different sizes, large, medium and small. So here's the medium ones and these are the large ones. And then um, down here, I have the small ones as well, which are really, really teeny. Um, like I said, they're all linked in my... Um, in my Amazon store. If you're interested. Um, so we've got the stamps. We've got the paints. We've got the dobber. I've got a little dish. I've got my tweezers. Um, some scissors. And some white cardstock. Yeah, let's get started. Right, so first off, I've just laid a piece of paper down. Because... Oh, I made a mess this weekend. I mean, this is my old map. It's not my new one. But look at the mess I've made this weekend with all my experimenting. But I'm not bothered because, like I said, it's my old map. So I'm just going to lay a piece of paper down. Um, and firstly, um, we're going to make one of the tags without a die. So this measures um, about three quarters of an inch by... about two and a quarter that one's not quite wide enough so I'm just going to get another strip there we go and then I mean like I said if you've got go through all your dies have a look and see what labels tags etc i have um i have put some i went through amazon and i have put some in my amazon store uh, if you don't have any but if you've got punches and things like that as well 
um, then use your punches, like your circle punches or your square punches, anything like that. They'll all make labels. Right, so we have just our bog standard rectangle. So now I've got me corner rounder and I'm going to use the smallest one and I'm just going to round all the corners and then let's put these together and then I'm going to get my cropper dial and I'm just going to punch a hole and there you have your tag which is so without using a die but if you have got the die then by all means use the die right so i'm going to i'm going to use this oval one i think and one of these or both of these let's see what else we've got in here um a round one ba, 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 ba. Oh, let's do like a dog tag style. And maybe a smaller oval. And one of those. Right, so that's what we're going to do. Right, so these are the ones we're going to make today. So first off, I'm going to make one of these long ones Oh, a bit of paper's moved. Right, so I'm going to get my embossing dobber. And instead of keep pouring on the paper and lifting the paper, I'm literally, I'm just going to put it on halfway. And then I'm going to get my embossing powder. And I'm just going to dip it in. I'm going to get my little spoon and just... Pour it on. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put the lid. I think every time I picked that up, it, I literally spilt it everywhere. Right, so now we're going to lay it down. And let me plug my heat tool in. I'm so excited I wasn't prepared. Right, and now we're just going to heat it. And remember, um, embossing powders are like really hot after you've heated it. I'm sure you all know that anyway. Right, so while that cools off, I am going to do another one. And this one, I'm just going to emboss the whole tag. And this one should just go in. This is a corner. Perfect. And then we're just going to heat this up again. Right, so that one's done. So we're going to put that aside. And then we're going to come back to this one. And then we're going to heat emboss the other end. And then we're just going to. Heat that. Right, so we're going to have like a kind of conveyor belt going. Um, so I'm going to emboss all the tags first. And it's just easier just to then keep picking up the bit of paper. Uh, what I do need is like a big tub. You know, I've seen them. People have store their um, embossing powders in a big tub and then they just get a spoon and they just tip it on and there's no mess. So that, that's what I definitely need.
I am um, I've now have a little a little container just so it doesn't go all over my workspace. So I'm just gonna heat this up. <sighs> right, so this is I've just given my hands a quick wipe. So this is I don't know if you can see that, but that is embossed. Can you see that shine? Oh, look at that. Yes, that is embossed. That's one layer. Um, and you can kind of see that it's one layer. I always, always do two layers of embossing. Oh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I always do two layers um, because it can be, as you can see on this one. Um, can you see that just sort of like down here? can be very patchy i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it can be very patchy so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do i'm gonna do three layers of white embossing so what i did just a minute ago i'm gonna do that three more times so i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'll be back right so these are have all got three coats each and a lovely lovely gloss to them as well but we're not going to keep the gloss because we're going to go over them with the matte distress medium. So I have got just just a little paintbrush and I'm just going to paint over. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get a layer on. completely cover because it's not going to show in the end anyway because you've still got one more embossing layer to go So just glue in. I mean, you can do it with a bigger brush, I think. I would. <laughs> well, this is just, this is just all I've got right now. So, um, I have to remember which ones I've done. too much on there there's also there's easier ways that you can do this as well um i mean you know you can white card stock stamp and then glossy accents um that's the easiest way and you'll still get a good effect a nice effect but i fancy playing and coming up with something I could use like my paints on and stuff I mean you could still put some glossy accents on these anyway give them a bit of a dome but the kind of idea I was going for was you know like um rusty street signs um rusty registration number plates and you know things like that so yeah and when i didn't do the medium for some reason like i said the stays on it just just didn't seem to sit on it properly so right so we've put one layer it's all you need on these we've put one layer on these and now we're going to let them dry and then we'll be back right so i'm going to do four three six nine make sure we've got enough ink 
and then I'm just going to line it up. Be really careful because it is quite slippy. I'm just going to give it a little rock. Hold it down for a bit. Make sure they're all pushed down. And ta-da! And I'm not bothered about the three or the lines in it or anything. That doesn't bother me because that just makes it look more authentic. I'm just going to give the... them a wipe and then on these I'm going to do oh Let's do that one again. There we go. Perfect. Take the ink off there. And then we're going to have a number. I'm going to do number two. I don't think, I think there are still, that's dry. That's a bit tacky. That's a bit tacky. That's a bit tacky. So we're going to leave these two just to dry a little bit more. Let's pick some more numbers. Um, two, seven, two, no, five, seven, two, zero. You can write a word as well but only four letter words are going to fit on there unless you've got some stamps that will fit. And then push down, give a little bit of a, a rock. Perfect. Ah, oh, love it. Right, I'm going to give these a little bit of a dry and then I'll be back. Right, so these are now dry and I haven't done an eight yet. Let's get that off there. I'm going to just stamp. Perfect. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh. Right, and what else haven't we got? We haven't got a number one. Should we put a number one? Oh, we might be able to fit. Let's see if we can fit 17 on here, because they're quite, quite thin. Push them together. Look at that. Perfect. That one came out really cool. Right, and we have one here. What should we put on this one? Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to do number three because I do like the number three. Make sure we've got plenty of ink on it. I'm just going to line it up straight. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Love it. Love them. Even, I don't even care that they're a bit, bit sort of like numbers have worn off. Doesn't bother me at all. But I might, oh, I don't know. Shall I risk it? I might, I'm going to do the number two again, I think. Shall we see if we can... Look at that, sir, perfect. I was on the ball with that one. Lovely, love those. 
love those and don't forget they're supposed to be rustic so the bits of black and everything they're absolutely fine this one is still a little bit tacky but i think we're gonna have seven five seven no i don't want a four five seven zero three ah no we're not because we've got a five seven so shall we do let's do a five eight zero three again remember just if you use it if you're going to get these stamps and using these stamps just give them a little bit of a, a push so that they're all together ink it up and then a little bit of a rock just the teeniest of rocks push down Perfect. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at them. Right, so now I'm going to put my stays on away because that thing does like to dry out. I'm going to put my stamps. Let's just clip all these back together so we don't lose them. Put them back in their tub. Perfect. And then I'm just going to quickly go over just to make sure the. I mean, the stays on dries quite quick anyway, but. And now the magic is going to begin. Right, so I've got my distress paints, and first off, I'm going to do vintage photo and mine have got the um the dobbers on top but they don't have to they don't have to have at all so i'm just gonna brush around the edge and i'm gonna go in deeper in some places so just like that then i am in others It just looks awesome already. <gasps> I love this vintage photo paint. It looks just like rust. And then just dab all the way around. Look at that. <sighs> they just look so cool. I'm so excited. I mean, they look cool now. But you wait until I get the ground espresso on it. Ah. Oh. So this is the rusty part. Oh, I think I'm just going to make loads of these. Because it is mass make March. So you can literally just sit here and make loads and loads. Look at them already. Oh my God, they're just so much fun. Right, so this one, I want quite a bit on the corner. So whereas I'm just sort of dobbing it on like that, around the corners, I'm kind of tilting it. So it looks like the white paint's been worn away. the vintage photo part done look at that how cool is that oh let me bring you in a little bit closer look oh, oh it's just so cool 
Right, so that's the vintage photo. I'm just going to quickly go over with the heat tool. So that is the rust. And now we're going to do the ground espresso. And you could use scorched timber as well, because that's a nice dark, dark brown. And I'm going to do exactly the same in the places that I haven't gone deep with the vintage photo. So where I've gone deep around here, I'm not going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tap the ground espresso like that. Whereas the places where I haven't gone deep, I'm going to go, I'm going to go deep. So it looks like some of the, Po the sign's been worn away. Oh my goodness. Oh, that just looks too cool. Right, and we're going to do the same. Just dob in around the edge. And again, around the corners. They just look so cool. <gasps> oh. And what would look really cool is embossing them with clear embossing powder. But I kind of wanted the grunge. So that's why I use the distress. Oh, they're just they're just so cool. I to wipe my finger, make sure I haven't. I mean, look at those. Oh, I love them. And then we've got the last one. Ta-da! <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to go, because this is quite a wide one, so I'm going to go a little bit more crazy with the paint. Gonna give them a little dry so i have i have put um an eyelet in this one and then a ball pin as well so how cool does that look how cool does that look so we need to be really gentle with this bit so oh. right so i've got my dobber again so i'm just Gonna dob over the top. And then that's it. Heat it up. And there we have it's definitely 
look at that how old rusty does that look oh i love it i love it love it love it right now let's do let's do the five seven two zero so first off i'm just gonna dob on the bottom and then have a dip get my tweezers and heat That just looks too cool. Right, so the key is don't heat it too long because then it heats the white embossing powder underneath as well. Like, that's what it did there. But I'm not bothered because, I mean, that's just that's just such a cool little tag. Anyway, so let's do the other half. my little spoon and then heat the rest ah oh, look at that I've got my little ring light on because it went really dark all of a sudden <gasps> look how cool does that look? Oh, it just looks so cool. I love it. I love it. Right, I'm gonna do the others. Let's do the let's do the big one. Uh, no, I'm gonna do the three. Let's do the three. Right, so let's bring our embossing powder back. And then we'll grab on top. Dunk it in and then heat. Done. See? Then it stays. So let's let that bit drop warm off, cool off even. And let's do number eight. Perfect. Give it a dunk and then heat. Oh, done. Look at that. Oh, can you see that grunge around the edge? Oh, it's just delicious. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, I love it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's just so lush. So lush. Oh, look, we've got a mister hiding over here. Just we're going to lay that down there, and then we're going to do the top of number three. I'm going to lay that there. And then we're going to do the top of number eight. And a bit on the side as well. That's it. Perfect. And now we're going to do the bottom half of this one. Uh, 
perfect. And then the bottom half of this one. Right, so, oh, see, we're still, we're still experimenting. I'm still learning. So, basically, tap off as much of the embossing powder as you can and only heat till the powder's gone. Like, don't overheat, otherwise it starts melting the white embossing powder underneath and then that's what draws away the stays on. Right, so I've turned my light off, so it's, it is a little bit dark. I know the light keeps changing. I'm really sorry, but because they're glossy, my ring light kept... Um, let me just move it out of the way. My ring light kept shining, and you couldn't see you couldn't see the numbers or anything. So, right, I have in here... There's some eyelets and some ball pins. So, let's... What I should have done, what I wish I'd done on this one is I wish I'd done a hole up this end and a hole up that end and just put three numbers on. How cool would that have been? But I can still do that. Right, so I've got some eyelets and I've got some bulb pins. And I'm, I'm going to use gold because it kind of goes with the, the rust. <laughs> oh my goodness let's have a look at oh i've got a dark one here let's use this oh this do i want to use it on this one or do i want to use it da, 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 da. no i'm going to use it on the four three six nine Oh, wow. That's just too cool with the dark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. Should we have a look? Let's have a look and see what silver looks like. Because I've got some silver pins in here. Um, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. going for it i'm gonna be wild oh i quite like it actually probably because of the lost shadow because it's got like a gray tone to it right these have got teeny weeny little holes so i don't know have we got any more we have oh look that's like um oh here's one Here's a darker one. Yeah, this would have looked so cool with the two holes either end. Because you could have had it as like um a, like a closure on a page. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Now, uh, let's... I don't really want to... Uh... 
I don't really want to do a too big a hole. Ah, oh, that's too close to the edge. But it's fine. It's fine. Because that looks quite cool like that. Hanging off the edge. Oh, no, it's not in properly. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know why these are darker underneath than what they are on top. Right, we need to get this done before this bit of paper that is hanging on by a thread. Nope. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, my number three. How am I going to fix that? I wonder. Let's have a look. I've got an idea. Because there's always a way. Is this the same tag? No, it's not. Dog tags. Ah. Because I know I cut about four of each. Right. Here we go. Let's get out my glue. Put it on top because I'm hoping if I bring the hole down a little bit lower this time, then there we go. And now I'm hoping yes and then you watch right hold on before I put this on let's do some disguise work a little blast Put in the eyelet. Make sure it's in there properly. Oh, and you would never know. Ta da! You'd never know now. How would you know? Who's going to know? No one's going to know. Perfect. Right, so do we risk it for a biscuit for this one? Yeah, yeah, we do. We just need to make sure... We just need to make sure that the top of that hole is at the top of this. Like that, because then you get a bit of card. Let's do... Let's do a gold. Look at that. Oh, it's just so cool. Can you see all the rust? And the pin as well. Oh, oh, it's just too cool. It's just too cool. Right, let's put the others on. Where's the silver one? There it is. There it is. How cool does that look? Do you know what? You could even make... <gasps> I'm going to make some big ones. I'm going to make some big ones, like, just... Ah, oh, they're so cool. Like a book page. Um, what one should we put in this one? 
because it's kind of, yeah, we'll put silver. Love it. This one can have a black one. And the gold one as well, until I find the gold ones, which I'm assuming must be in my craft room. Because I haven't vacated my dining room yet. But I don't like leaving the boys. I don't like leaving the boys. And because the weather's still not top notch, um, I mean, like in the summer, they'll they'll I leave the dining room door open so they go in and out the house um and my craft room is at the bottom of the garden so they just they just go in and out of the house and then that's fine but Ta -da! i mean oh look how cool they are i love them i absolutely love them they're just gonna look so gorgeous and the rust and the grunge. I mean, look. Look at that round there. Oh, look at that round there. Mm, so nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I love experimenting. I love experimenting. But I have some other things now because this has definitely piqued my imagination. And now I've got ideas for other things. So, oh, I think this might be an experimental week. Hmm, I think it might be. Oh, so thank you everybody for joining me today. I know it's a little bit dark, but, and yeah, oh, I've loved it. I've loved the experimenting. You know, I love experimenting. So I hope you give this a go. If you do, don't forget to tag me because you know, I absolutely love seeing all your work. Um, It's just, it's just so cool to me that pe I'm inspiring people and people are creating and tagging me in it i love it i absolutely love it thank you all so much i appreciate every single one of you so i'm gonna see you in my next video for maybe maybe another experiment we'll see so happy crafting everybody bye